Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your What's Cracking for Thursday the 2nd of July. Um, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, I've had a lot of new people come on board lately, so I want to say thank you for joining us. Um, we do a lot of stuff on here, which is really fabulous, and I try to do some stuff on my Facebook page as well, so always check me out over there. I haven't done a live card pool reading for a while, so probably due for one of those. Um, currently running classes for uh, July and August around uh, tarot, uh, developing your psychic awareness, but I also do a lot of stuff around um, uh, abandonment and attachment and that sort of energy that you have from breaking up from someone, the twin flame journey, that type of thing too. So please look out for those. Um, at the moment, I'm doing a few days a week. I, I was doing all the time uh, live on YouTube every day, but I'm back to working now. So it sort of had to cut back a little bit. Um, so the daily diary, so keep an eye out or ear out <laughs> for the bell when the bell goes. Um, so classes, personal readings. Yes, I do personal readings. I do them all over the world. Um, it's just, I've got to work out the timing, um, but I mostly do them through Zoom, which is where I do the classes, um, Skype, Messenger, and WhatsApp, if you're in another country. Just have to work out the time zones, that's all. But that's never been an issue or a problem. Um, I can work in, any, work in anywhere. It just just needs a little bit of working out if we've got other um, complications like work etc okay I think that's everything every time I do this I think if I miss something then I guess you guys will let me know if I do um, I also want to say I got on yesterday and on the daily diary and did a little bit of a obsession and quite a lot of you wrote to me and said that you needed it yesterday we're all in a bit of a waiting room at the moment. It seems like we're all a little bit stuck um, and there doesn't seem to be a lot of forward movement. And I always say to people, don't be sitting around saying you feel stuck, get in and do something for yourself. You know, go out and pamper yourself. Go out and, you know, or, or find a good course to do. If you're not doing that, then do some meditation and some self work um, because this is a time that spirit puts you in so that you can expand your knowledge, so you can expand your creativity, so you can start realizing who you truly are. So very much a time at the moment with all the eclipses um, happening. So don't, don't sort of sit around wondering what's going on. Put the effort into really taking care of yourself. That's what it's there for. All right, so I'm gonna use the Connolly Tarot for your reading. I've had enough feedback to know that this is sort of what you like to see. So I'm going to stick with this for the time being until, you know me, <laughs> I love a change. All right, let's get into this reading for Thursday. Yep, we are ready. All right, the lovely little page of pentacles coming through here. So the page of pentacles represents the earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo. The page is, I think, the most spectacular page because I always think, yes, he's coming with some sort of gift. Sometimes it can be money. Sometimes it can be a course you want to do. Um, but for me, this always means some, some big change is coming in. Um, something is happening to change something. I always see this as a gift. Um, probably in the same way as I always see swords as an apology. Um, but this is a gift. So it's almost like this person is bringing in something and probably doesn't realise like how much power there is in this particular pentacle. So somebody is coming in with some sort of information, some sort of message here, but that what the message has within is far greater than it looks. Big changes coming. Oh, there we go. So we have the chariot coming through. The card of Capric uh, Capricorn. No, it's not. It's a crab. <laughs> it's the card of Cancer. But this is forward movement. So I feel like some of you are getting the message now that it's time to start moving, um, not to sit still. And it could be that I just brought you that message. But here we are with this sort of forward movement here. I feel like you have a divine masculine coming forward here. 
with some sort of message. You may be waiting for a message from someone, but we have the Divine Masculine. So we have someone here who has done their inner work. So they have used the time wisely to grow themselves. Um, this is a person who's reached a level of education and knowledge that gives them the power to move forward on something now. So for some of you, this could be, you know, some sort of job advancement, some sort of job in the works, some sort of offer that's going to help you move forward. But it's coming from someone who's very powerful here. Well, look, for a lot of you, it is love. <laughs> no denying that. Um, the Ace of Cups does represent a brand new start in love. But don't discount that this can often mean not just romantic love. It can be the birth of a baby. It can be, you know, a relationship moving forward in terms of a friendship. But whatever it is, it's something that's changing in the way of love. Okay, because I thought I'd have a look behind that. We have the devil card sitting behind that. Now, the devil card talks about obsession. It talks about extremes. Um, it also represents Capricorn, and I did say Capricorn earlier, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, but certainly something here, someone is really uh, very, I want to say obsessed, but very, uh, very keen to move something forward. Um, this can represent lust, it can represent too much of anything, but definitely someone here is not going to let up on something that they want. Someone is wanting this. What have I got peeking out the back? Three of Pentacles. Somebody wants to work on something here. Somebody wants to put energy into something here and you're about to hear from them. All right, let's go and have a look at what the story says. Okay, so we have that Three of Pentacles here that popped out of the back there. So the Three of Pentacles talks of putting work into some sort of project, seeing something as, you know, valuable now, and wanting to put work into something. This person has a contract. I'm really drawn to the contract this morning. So perhaps some of, for some of you, this could be about marriage or something long-term. This guy is, you know, really sort of promoting this contract or paperwork here. So something that involves some sort of agreement for some of you, this could be, as I said, marriage. For others of you, this could be a work contract. But something, look, it's, it's very, for me, this card is really spiritual, always has been. Um, and I always feel it sort of refers to sort of your inner knowing, your inner religion, your inner spirituality. There is something here that you are ready to accept, that you are ready for. So maybe you are ready to accept something. So somebody's now ready on their side divine timing. Alrighty, let's have a look at the story. I just tried to get it all square in the screen so you can see everything. Okay. All right. All right, have the Eight of Cups coming through here. Now, the Eight of Cups is a card of walking away from something. It's generally something that's not emotionally satisfying in its, anymore. So sometimes it can be walking away from a relationship. This one could be walking away from a job too, because I feel like some people I'm talking to are getting a job offer here, a contract, a dream contract, because it feels spiritual. So it may be something to do with the esoteric arts, or it could be something that you've always wanted to do, some sort of dream coming in for you here. But you're certainly moving away from something that wasn't emotionally satisfying you towards this contract. So you could be, somebody could be walking away from a relationship. You can see him looking at the contract here. So somebody's walking away from something that's not emotionally fulfilling to walk towards something long-term and favourable. All right, so we have the nine of wands coming through. Someone's a little bit browbeaten here. Someone's had enough where they are. They've perhaps endured a lot of uh, challenges along the way. This person's not given up, though. They've got that wand in their hand, so they're ready to embrace new time, but they're also ready to walk away from something they've been cycling in. Um, I always think of this card as, you know, the card where it looks to me like somebody's being bullied, pushed around. So maybe this is happening in your current state, current work, current relationship, but you're definitely walking away from it here. Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands coming through. Very nice. This is communication. 
that's why the page of pentacles is here somebody's about to communicate here you're about to hear of an offer uh, somebody's coming forward to um to give you this offer but as i said it's sort of like it's a gift as well so it's not just an offer this is something very special in this offer um and what i mean by that it, you know it may not be just a job it will be a dream job or a job or something that you've always wanted to do if this is a relationship maybe you've been waiting a long time to hear this offer or be offered this particular thing let's keep going some of you dealing with libra gemini and aquarius here um the king of swords is a card where the person here is thinking very strategically they're a very logical thinker. So sometimes doesn't represent the signs per se, but it means that whoever you're dealing with has thought this out thoroughly. They've done a lot of contemplation, a lot of strategic planning and have been working towards this moment. So, okay, hanged man coming through. We have someone here who has sort of had some sort of realization, possibly a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, I always see this and I think this is where you look at things and you think is there two offers here or is this the same person manifesting in two different ways somebody's offering a cup here but this person has had a lot of thinking about what they need to do here um, so for those of you who are waiting on a love offer I feel like whoever this person is that's coming forward has put a lot of effort into making this decision um, and has spent a lot of time thinking about how to do this properly. All I can see is this guy with his contract, though. So it's very dominant in the cards. Six of Cups. So you're dealing with someone that you've had some sort of past connection with. Someone who's let go of something else here. And followed their intuition with the High Priestess. Okay, let's just have a little bit of a look at this. I want to pull it apart a little bit. certainly a challenge doing different things doing different ways trying to get your comfort zone okay i have someone making an offer now for some of you this will be about work study you may have just got into a course that you've been trying for for a very long time for others of you this can be something stable like love um moving forward here with this cancer card with the chariot moving forward um someone here has realized your value or your worth and someone who's coming forward to offer you something either love or something you love this person's very very determined um the devil card can be a bit negative too so it can talk about uh you know having um a lot of obsession with something being very focused on something but again it does represent represent the sign of capricorn so it could be that you're dealing with someone who has strong capricorn traits and you know it's funny isn't it because we sort of get locked into the devil being a negative energy but it just means determination obsession um you know keeping your eye on that prize but at the cost of other things like focusing in on something it can also represent codependency addiction and some of those but in this particular reading it's definitely pointing to someone who's really determined maybe even bordering on obsession here okay i just get the cards ready because i might want to put some more cards on this one okay somebody here is ready to offer something someone here who could have walked away from another situation someone's let go of their fear here and that could be the devil card as well. Someone's let go of something that's holding them back. Um, strong past energy, past energy, past life, soulmate energy here as well. But someone who's really let go and tuning into their intuition. You have someone who's maybe moved from this king of swords energy into this king of cups energy through some sort of awakening here. Um, I feel like whoever this person is has sort of gone around in circles with something for a while before making the decision to come forward and offer something now for some of you this could be as i said around work sort of um study something like that the energy is the same for you someone's coming forward to offer you something but with this sort of three of pentacles here i always think it's something that's really connected to your life purpose or your life life path this isn't just sort of an everyday job um this is someone that's really 
seen your values. So for some reason, you could have shone out for something in particular, um, a particular uh, career or something that defines you is what spirit's talking about. So it's something that's meant for you on your path and you're about to get communication. So it could be that you really desired this particular direction. You may not have done this particular work before. Um, but something here is telling me that someone's tuned into this intuition and finally making sure they've got the right person for the job, if it's a job. If it's, a, if it's love, then someone has done a lot of turning around, let go of something that was holding them back in regards to their fears. Um, but definitely with this hanged man and high priestess, tuning into their inner knowing, tuning into the energy that drives them forward. Could be somebody from your past here with the Six of Cups, but strong soulmate ties here. Somebody's on their way, maybe on their way back. I don't need to use any more cards. That's very clear. All right. Ooh, nice. We do have the card of fire and ice coming through. All righty. Okay, went nearly straight to the page then. That was good. I love it when they do that for me. Um, so I'm not going to read um, the whole card to you. If you want to look it up, it's from this deck, The Journey of Love. I'm only going to read you the oracle part. Um, this oracle brings you guidance that the conflict you feel within is externally a sign of your spiritual growth. Soon you will grow larger than the conflict, but for now do not need to engage in it. Simply be present to it and allow it to work its way through you until you are strong enough to outgrow the conflict, giving rise to a clear direction. It may seem impossible, beloved, but it is not. You're a vast being. Give yourself a chance to realise this and have patience. All is becoming, including you, according to the perfection of divine design. This oracle brings specific guidance on any relationship matter requiring a decision. Until you have simple clarity in your heart beyond the pushing away and pulling closer, then it is time to wait for there is more yet to be revealed. Only when your heart speaks clearly, then you will do well to act as it as feels truthful for you. Oh, the poem's really beautiful. I'll read you the poem. It says, there is a beautiful silence now as I hold your hands and listen to your eyes. Across a span of moments called time, there are no words that say as much nor walls that could confine the wings of our feelings or the rhythm of our eyes. Oh, how beautiful is that? Okay, so I guess what they're trying to say, it may feel like you're a little stuck at the moment, but don't fight it, just go with it. Something is happening here to get you on your journey. Thanks. <laughs> 